Hello, I am Colin Cunningham, and this is Just Macro. Just Macro. Just Macro. Today, we'll be looking at a very old tooth. This is the fossilized tooth of a mosasaur found in the phosphate mines of Morocco. Mosasaurus lived during the late Cretaceous period, which means this tooth is more than 65 million years old. And I bought it off some guy at a mineral and gem show in New Jersey. Any soft tissue at the core has long been eroded, replaced by a matrix of sandy mineral deposits. Still, the majority of the tooth body remains impressively intact. Fine details, like these tiny serrations along the tooth's edge, lead us to wonder what was this animal's last meal? And was it capable of experiencing what we call love? Probably not. Though it shared the earth with them, Mosasaurus was not, in fact, a dinosaur but a large marine reptile, a close relative to our modern-day snake. And according to the illustrations I found, Mosasaurus was constantly eating, and appears to have enjoyed the process a great deal. Still, there's so much we don't know about this animal. Did it have a distinctive odor? Or perhaps some terrible song that it sang deep beneath those prehistoric waves. You know, if a tooth could speak, I... Oh. How about we look at a broken Mosasaur tooth? A single tooth. 300 times older than humanity. Formed before North America and Europe were even separate continents, remained intact for over 65 million years until today, when I dropped it. But with tragedy comes the opportunity to learn. We can now see how the tooth grew in successive layers, much like the rings of a tree. And surprisingly, the core is not completely filled with that sandy matrix material. In fact, it's mostly hollow, like a tiny cave. Sadly, no prehistoric insect was found waiting inside, just a small pocket of ancient air, and perhaps a long dormant bacteria, which I've inadvertently reanimated and am now possibly breathing. Hmm. It does have a musty smell. <laughs>